Daniel Sports Central will be giving you guys my NFL playoff predictions for the 2022-23 season. After a season full of thrilling matchups and twists and turns, it all comes down to this. We're headed right into the postseason. Only 14 teams remain and only one is going to come out on top. And I'll be giving you guys my predictions on who that team could be here today. I'll be predicting the entire playoff bracket from start to finish, all the way from the beginning, the wild card round to the Super Bowl. So that said, let's get started looking at the AFC. At the top of the bracket, the Bills are playing the Dolphins. Two versus seven matchup here. Buffalo has had an outstanding season. And this is a team that's honestly, I, I mean, this is a team that's got a Super Bowl definitely within reach. I mean, this team has been within contention the past few years. They have come just short the past couple of years, and they're taking on Miami in the opening round. And in the end, the Dolphins are a good football team, and they definitely you know, had a gutsy win against the Jets in Week 18. But in the end, Buffalo, too good of a football team. They're moving on to the divisional round. Bengals and Ravens, you got the Cincinnati Bengals, who are a team that, I mean, they went to the Super Bowl last season. I mean, whether they were a surprise team last season or not is up to you, but the Bengals are an outstanding football team and very much in contention to make it back to the Super Bowl. They're taking on the Ravens. This is actually a rematch of Week 18's matchup, and it's in Cincinnati once again. So that's, that does make it an interesting matchup. Potentially Baltimore uh, flips the script and gets the win. But, of course, they're going to need Lamar Jackson. They're going to need him back. He's been dealing with an injury that's been lingering. And so they're going to need him back if they want any chance of beating Cincinnati. But in the end, I like Joe Burrow. I like the Bengals. They're going to win that game, move on to the divisional round where they're going to face off against the Bills. Jaguars and Chargers. Now, this is a very intriguing matchup here. you got the Jaguars, who obviously were a horrible team last season. They've honestly been terrible the past few years. And this team is back in the playoffs for the first time since 2017. Remember in 2017, this team, they made it to the AFC Championship. They were one game away from being in the Super Bowl that season. They ended up losing that game, but the Jaguars are back in the playoffs. And this is a team that's really played well down the stretch. They've won, I think, five straight games heading into the playoffs. They're playing really well right now. And so Jacksonville taking on the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers just lost to Denver in Week 18. A surprising loss there. But the Chargers are still an outstanding football team. And quite honestly, both teams, especially, I feel like the Chargers are a team that definitely can make a deep run. But it does make me question. I mean, the Chargers, the way they looked against Denver, they have been inconsistent this season. They're extremely talented, maybe more so than the Jaguars. But at the same time, I mean, yeah, I, I think Jacksonville and Trevor Lawrence, they're going to get the win in the end. I like them to win that matchup. Yeah, they're back in the playoffs, and Trevor Lawrence, that team's playing really well right now. I see them as a dangerous team. So those are your divisional matchups in the AFC. Looking at the NFC now, you got the 49ers and the Seahawks in the wild card round. The San Francisco 49ers relying on Brock Purdy as the starting quarterback. Obviously, you got Trey Lance and Jimmy Garoppolo, who both have gone out with season-ending injuries. And Brock Purdy has played really well. And this 49ers team is probably the hottest team in the playoffs, you could say. I mean, the AFC side has got a couple of hot teams, but the Niners, you could definitely say, are the hottest team in the NFC here. And so San Francisco, I like them to win that matchup big over the Seahawks, and they're moving on to the divisional round. Minnesota Vikings, New York Giants. Now, this is a matchup between two of the teams that I think are honestly probably – two of the least likely to win the Super Bowl. You got the Minnesota Vikings, a team that is probably the worst 13-win team I've ever seen. I mean, that is a team that's got like a point differential of negative two, and they're 13-4 and four on the season. Minnesota is a football team that's got talent, but I just don't know if in the end uh, they're, they're a deep playoff team, a team that can make a deep playoff run. But New York Giants on the other side, I mean, Daniel Jones, that's a team that's actually played pretty well this, this season, and they're very much deserving of being in the playoffs. And I think they beat Minnesota on the road there in the wild card round. And they're moving on to the divisional round. Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. Now, this is a matchup where you got the Bucs, a team that you just, with Tom Brady under center, I mean, you can never doubt Tom Brady. I mean, it's we've learned that time and time again. And uh, the Buccaneers are a team that's back in the playoffs. They're 8-9. and nine. This has not been a good team this season. Once again, the one thing that's bringing me optimism about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is Tom Brady. He is a quarterback that has proven that no matter if it's a down season, they can still make a run. And they're facing off against Dallas, who's coming off of a terrible loss uh, to the Washington Commanders. 26-6 was the final score there. Dallas was playing their starters, which is a concern to me. But in the end, the Buccaneers have just been too inconsistent. Defensively, the Buccaneers are bad. And so I'm going to go with the Cowboys to win that matchup and proceed on to the divisional round. So there's your divisional matchups. Now you got the Kansas City Chiefs and the Jacksonville Jaguars. In the AFC, Kansas City is... 
honestly a team that I could very much see winning the Super Bowl. I think the Super Bowl could definitely and more than likely will be won by a team on the AFC side of things. I mean, when you got the Chiefs, Bills, and Bengals in there, you'll see why. But Kansas City, I think in the end, they do beat Jacksonville. The Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence have had a great season, and they could be a very dangerous team in the future. But in the end, I just think Pat Mahomes and that team is too complete uh, for them to lose to Jacksonville, especially at home. Next, we got the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. This was a matchup that we were supposed to see on that Monday night of Week 17. But then uh, the very concerning uh, events happened behind DeMar Hamlin. And it's truly, it's truly awesome to see DeMar Hamlin's recovery and how the entire country has come together behind it. It is awesome seeing him and how he's recovering. And we get a rematch of that in the divisional round. The Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals, it will be in Buffalo. And this is a matchup that, I mean, yeah, you got Josh Allen going up against Joe Burrow. Truly, it can be an outstanding matchup and will be an outstanding matchup if it were to occur. And in the end, Buffalo at home, the story of the Bills this season, that is a team that I could very well see winning the Super Bowl. And I got them moving on to the AFC Championship game for a rematch against the Kansas City Chiefs. That AFC Championship game between Pat Mahomes and Josh Allen uh, truly would be a thrilling matchup. Looking at the NFC side of things, you got the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. So a divisional matchup there in the divisional round, AFC, or the NFC East uh, rivalry. And in the end, Philadelphia, just simply the better team. I mean, you got Jalen Hurts, who will look to be back. It does help that the Eagles do have that bye. And uh, that's going to be huge for the Eagles, having him and obviously A.J. Brown in there. I mean, that's an outstanding team offensively. We have seen that all season. And in the end, Philadelphia moving on to the NFC Championship game after their win over the Giants. And then you got the 49ers and the Cowboys. This is a matchup that we saw last postseason. It was in Dallas. The Cowboys did lose the Niners. Niners eventually beat the number one seed, Green Bay Packers, and they proceeded on to the NFC Championship. And in the end, I mean, the 49ers, a really hot team. And, I mean, Dallas is just, Dallas is a great team. They're just very inconsistent. I just don't trust them very much. The 49ers, the hottest team in the playoffs, I do think especially on the NFC side. I'm going to go with the Niners to win that game over the Dallas Cowboys. Things about the 49ers that does concern me is having that rookie quarterback in Brock Purdy. How is he going to respond to being in a playoff um, in the NFL playoffs? And so I do think he has success and gets at least the NFC Championship game. AFC Championship, Kansas City Chiefs, Buffalo Bills, a rematch of some thrilling matches we have seen in years past. And in the end, Kansas City and Buffalo, this is going to be outstanding. Pat Mahomes, Josh Allen, really hope it does happen in the end. I'm going to go with the Buffalo Bills to get their win. They finally proceed on to the Super Bowl. And I think the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen, that is a team to keep an eye on. They're probably going to be a, the favorite, I'd say, heading into the playoffs. I mean, even over Kansas City, potentially. And, I mean, rightfully so, if that's the case. Buffalo is an outstanding football team, and they're definitely a complete a complete team across the board. Then you got the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers, two teams that have had outstanding seasons, 14 and three versus 13 and four in the regular season. In the end, I got to go with the Philadelphia Eagles here. They've had too great of a season and obviously got that Jalen Hurts and AJ Brown duo defensively. They've played really well at, at many points this season. I like Philadelphia to, to finally uh, beat the Niners and uh, the, the Eagles move on to the Super Bowl once again. So your Super Bowl matchup, the Buffalo Bills and the Philadelphia Eagles, two outstanding football teams. Uh, you got Jalen Hurts against Josh Allen here. And in the end, I feel like Buffalo, they're, I mean, both teams are complete from, from top to bottom. But in the end, the Buffalo Bills, they get their Super Bowl win. They are going to be the Super Bowl champion in this 2022 through 23 season. I think Buffalo, once again, they're probably going to be the favorite uh, I think in most brackets, I mean, Kansas City is going to be uh, one of those teams that will definitely be picked to be the champion. Maybe even the Bengals could be one. On the NFC side of things, I mean, it's really the NFC side could really get messy. I've got a one versus two NFC championship, but honestly, I think the AFC is going to be much more predictable than the NFC. The NFC could honestly be anybody competing in the NFC championship game. But yeah, this should be an outstanding playoff. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this bracket and obviously there's gonna be some disagreements here so let me know your thoughts on who you think the champion's gonna be and everything appreciate you guys watching as always stay tuned for more from all sports central catch you on the next one